Hey, guess who's in the news again today? Guess who's giving interviews none other than Kyle Bass. Remember Kyle Bass? Japanese debt crisis, Kyle Bass. Chinese debt crisis, Kyle Bass. I got to be honest, I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit bored talking about Kyle Bass, but I can't help it. The guy just comes out with such gems, such gems. By the way, the Japanese debt crisis, which I debunked at the time that he was uh, being paraded across all the business Network CNBC, they love this guy, right? And he was predicting this massive debt crisis in Japan. You know, not understanding, of course, that there is no debt crisis in Japan, nor is there a debt crisis in the United States, nor is there a debt crisis in in Britain or any sovereign currency issuing nation where that nation, uh, where that nation's currency floats freely. Okay, uh, and there is no. Uh, inability. There is never an inability to meet its obligations in its own currency. And what do we have? Japanese rates are negative. In fact, people are literally paying the government of Japan to hold its paper. And the yen is all the way back down, uh, almost at parity with the dollar, or up, I should say, almost at parity with the dollar. But Nobody, you know, it's funny because they bring Kyle Bass on. Nobody says, what, hey, what about that Japanese debt crisis prediction? No, nobody even asks them about that. Who are these, these interviewers, okay? But they allow him, they give him a platform to speak some more nonsense. And now he's talking about this, this meeting he had with one of the world's top central bankers. That's what he said. He said it was like an out-of-body experience. <laughs> Weird, Kyle. Weird if that's an out of body. If your out of body experience is meeting with a central banker, whoo, 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 I feel sorry for you, man. Anyway, he said, now this central banker, he told me something that he would never say in public. You want to know what that was? That was the central banker said, you know, Kyle, quantitative easing, well, that only works if you're the only one doing it. Really? I mean, who was the central banker? Or I should say, typical of a central banker to say something like that because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Either. Why does it only work? First of all, it doesn't work. Let's just be clear on that. At least it doesn't work in the way that these guys believe it believe uh, believe that it works. Quantitative easing, uh, large uh, asset uh, purchases, right? Uh, first of all, that's the removal of high-quality assets. Um, it is the removal of, in many cases, the income earned by those high-quality assets. And it is um, an expansion in reserves or a, a swap for reserves in the banking system. So all it is is a gigantic asset swap that removes a gigantic amount of income. And these guys are like, well, the only reason it didn't work is because everybody's doing it. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if one person does it. doesn't matter if, if they all do it. Uh, and I think this central banker, from what Bass was saying, was kind of alluding to the fact like, hey, we're trying to knock our currency down, but we can't do that because everybody else is doing the same thing again. Wrong, wrong. You're not knocking the currency down when you're removing vast amounts of income denominated in that currency, right? And again, going back to the correct MMT explanation of this, when they um, when they lower interest rates or when they set them negative, they literally reduce the level of government spending. That's how you re that's the real printing money. They they reduce that. They bring it way down. So it's money unprinting. And they think they're going to knock the currency down, but they're money unprinting, not money printing. When they raise the rate, that's when it literally forces the government to spend more because the government is the net payer of interest. But Kyle Bass, man. Then he said, he said China is going to have a bigger economic crash than 2008. Again. Guy's totally wrong. Totally wrong. Doesn't understand. 
uh, China's credit growth, that's the same for China as deficit spending here in the United States or Japan or Britain or anywhere else. They, they spend by directing the state-owned banks to lend. So even if those banks have bad loans, that's the fiscal equivalent or the financial equivalent of deficit spending. Could do that forever in their own currency, forever. And they're doing it like hell right now. So Kyle Bass, I'm really, I wish you'd just stop because I'm tired of talking about you, but I can't help it. I cannot help it. You come out with gems. You come out with gems.